They sent back on their journey from the 1200 metre marker. Ronnie was slow about a length for Gimme also slow into stride. Giving them a chance to settle down, Edith's Rose is a little bit keen towards the inside. My Leisha is right there, parked in second. Yellow and Red Silk, Song of Me Too's around them. Shakespeare in Love, perfectly poised at the rail third. African Honey's in fifth position. Beans Beauty racing away in sixth. Honorary is seventh. Then we drop back to Ronnie on the outside for Gimme. Five lengths to hunt down. Amber Bell further back, Harmonia and Sun Lover. Edith Rose whips them in as they come to the 450 meter marker. Shakespeare in Love gets a beautiful rails run to come forward. Song of Me Too's on the outside, My Leisha. Edith's Rose hanging tough at the 300 meter marker. Shakespeare in Love's got a length to make up. Honoria starting to run on Song of Me Too and My Leisha. Edith throws the last hundred. Honory now becomes the live wire and at this stage, Honory breezes on by. That's it. Honoree hit the front to win, going away by a length and a half. Edith Rose second, Song of Me Too, Shakespeare in Love ran fourth. Here's number one, Honorary, 252 days off the track, now with the Dennis Bosch stable, bred by the Scott brothers for Alesh Naidu, the Fire Racing Trust. Anthony Del Pesh had her midway back. Coming to the 200, she produced and runs away from the opposition. Edith Rose second, Song of Me Too, Shakespeare in Love. Will just outdo for Gimme, and then came My Leisha. Beans Beauty, the runner, pulled up inside the 300. Ronnie further back in the run. Coming to the 300 metre marker, Beans Beauty not persevered with. Edith Rose in front, Shakespeare in love, but look right, here comes Honoree. Had the form, obviously the 1200 a little bit sharp, but she comes home stoutly late on. Word from Dees that Dennis Bosch said she was doing really well back home, and Anthony Delpes brings home number one Honoree at 5 rand 70, 220 the place, back to the studio. One honorary, the daughter of Magok, has come through to win well for trainer Dennis Boss, been off for eight and a half months and straight into the number one box here. She had the form prior to the break, as we mentioned in that preview. But more importantly, let's get uh, Dennis Bosch in. And then, you know, I mentioned that uh, when we chatted, you know, fitness was never the issue with this filly. It was just possibly the distance, but full marks to yourself and your team. I mean, you had a spot on today and she's come through to win well in a competitive field. You know, Dees, first of all, I want to thank Alesh, you know, great supporter. Uh, I had to beat my other owner, which was sad. <laughs> but anyway, that's racing. Um, uh, once you got Dalpesh or one of the good jocks on top, the draw you leave to them. And uh, I couldn't go the 14 or the mile. I wanted to do the 12 because she's coming back from a long layoff. And as long as she wasn't too far at the ground, I knew she would kick. She's been working well. She's been very fit. All her issues are hopefully a little bit behind her. And uh, I think this filly might go on. Uh, these, I, think. I, I just wished I saw you in the parading because I, I gave the guys as much as confidence as I could. But if I saw you dressed up, Shane, saying, just have a look at this uh, outfit, please. <laughs> Let the guys have a look at Dennis. When Dennis boss puts it on. He's dressed to the nines. Fantastic. Danny, if I saw you like this, I would have told the boys to empty out, but you were, you were quietly confident. Yeah, I was, but I, I was scared when you hear there's money coming for other horses and you're drawn 12. But as I said with uh, Dalpeshan, you, you got uh, a bit of a go. He's got to stop claiming now again. So, <laughs> yeah, no, thank you once again to Alicia and his wife. The support is greatly appreciated. One more runner, Peter Piper. Yeah, you know, he, if he puts it, his mind into his a jet master, he just needs to bring his form back again. Well done, yeah, Dennis. Thank you. Lovely, Dennis Boss. Let's get Jockey Del Pesci in, and uh, you know, obviously you don't know much about the filly, so maybe you can talk us through it. Uh, she found a really good finish. 
I didn't really need to know too much about the Philly once I saw him dressed up. <laughs> sure, so we all, I missed it, Bonji, but I saw that in the parade ring, I, I would have told the entire country empty out. I was under pressure. <laughs> <laughs> She's won well? Yeah, he gave me a lot of confidence and it's nice to walk in the ring and uh, the trainer gives you a lot of confidence and, you know, I, I thought if I overcome my draw, then, uh, then I'm home because then he knows his, his horses very well and he was very bullish. Looks like, you know, whilst he mentioned this is on the sharp side, she's going to enjoy, you know, seven, eight furlongs. Yeah, now she's a straight, easy filly to ride, so um, she'll get further, no problem. And it's nice to ride horses like that. I said to Danny, place her in the right races, she'll win her races. Anything else left from your side in the next? You've got a, oh, a favourite that's deep in the red. Yeah, um, I don't really know too much about the horse. Uh, it's Frank's horse. Uh, I watched his run. He, he looked a, sh a tad unlucky last time. You know, we'll, we've got a bad draw, but I'll overcome the draw and hopefully we get into a good position and let's see what happens. The last race, a uh, horse that you know? Yeah, I, I think friend his request. friend request has got a good chance, but I thought uh, Alish was also the number one. He, he's, he's come down in merit rating and he, he's in the right race. I think he's the horse to beat. Thanks for that. You've got one on the board. Well done. Yeah, thanks very much to Dan. Alish, always supporting me. I really appreciate it. And to my sponsor, Volgebos Drift and Maritz Fontaine. Well done. Lovely. From... One gentleman that's dressed to a nines and the other gentleman, you can never ever match the shoes that Alice wears anywhere in the world. Forget about South Africa. Zane, can, can you just zoom into that? Let the guys have a look at those stylish... You, you can't call them tackies or you... What, what do you call them, Alice? Sketches. Sketches. But I mean, this must be from a special sketch shop. We don't find them in the sketches I go to. No, definitely from overseas. I used to say, well, Dennis Bosch, he got me frightened when he came in the race course with a suit on, and I was uh, three quarter pants, so I had to go to a car and change quickly to get in. <laughs> this horse has come through well. I mean, been off for a while also, Alesh. Yeah, and if he was not 100% today, we totally need a run. But Bonji was confident in the playing, he said, he'll go for it. And he gave him a good feel, so I'm happy for that. I was a thank to Aunt, uh, Delpesh, and I'm dedicated to my granddaughter at home, Leah. Anything else from your side? Anthony just mentioned Palladium, maybe the, the horse to beat in, in the eighth? Yeah, he's well, but he's let me down so many times, so I can't say you put your house on the horse, but uh, he's well. It's been a lovely season for you, Alesh, uh, the way it's ending off as well. No, I had a good season, I'm not uh, grumbling, better than last year. So we're hoping for some uh, graded races now and see what happens from there. Well, all the best later on as well. Sure, thank you. Well done, Alesh Naidu, Dennis Bosch, number one. Honorees open up the pick six, one, seven, twelve, and eleven. That's where they cross the line. The last exotic will be up next, race number four. Uh, that's at uh, fourteen, ten, ten past two.